going to share with you the tips and things that we've done in order to reduce our garbage consumption from, you know, multiple garbage cans per year to our goal for 2016, which was three. Three garbage cans for the entirety of the whole year for 2016. Now, I've always been a proponent of reducing, reusing, recycling, but nothing that I've done has ever made quite an impact as this. We decided, actually my husband made the goal of three garbage cans for the year of 2016 total. And I'm talking about the regular size cans that you pull out to your curb, not the big, you know, industrial jobs at the work site. Just three regular ones. Now we started a couple of years back with just remembering the bags. So this was one of the things that made a difference. We had to remember the bags. You know, these bags. Now this is a shameless plug. You see that right there? It says the winding stream. If you haven't yet, this is like an infomercial. If you haven't yet, go over to Netflix. It is a phenomenal movie created and made, produced, written by my very good friend, Beth Harrington. It's the history of the Carter Cash and country music or something like that. I think I'm slaughtering it. Now I'm not a country music fan, but I love history and this film was really great for, for just teaching all about history, where that stuff comes from. So the first thing, remembering the bag, not in the car, bring it in. That was super helpful. We started to really look at what we were purchasing and the packaging that it came in and decided that there's a lot of crap that comes in packaging that I could get in the bulk aisle. Instead of buying raisins in the bag, I now put them in this jar. You can put the little number on the top. You can put the tear weight on the top. You can put the tear weight on the bottom. It's really hard to read. And then the people at the grocery checkout don't really like that. So put it on the top, it's easier to read. And you can label them and they look pretty all lined up on your shelf. It's very satisfying. But this hugely reduced the amount of waste that we had. And actually, you know those pre-cooked chickens that they have that are really fast and convenient and pretty easy and yummy? Well, if I think of it in advance, I can go and take my pot in and they'll put the chicken in my pot rather than in that plastic container that isn't recyclable. So that's super helpful. If you really are fancy and you wanted to get tricky, you could put that chicken in the pot and then just before your guests come over from dinner, come over to dinner, you could put it in the oven and have it smelling up the house and produce this chicken. Maybe put some vegetables in there that you pre-cooked or something. <laughs> and then it's like you just had your own chicken baked fancy just for them. Not that I do that. <laughs> so another thing that made a huge difference is purchasing. Oh, this drives me crazy. I went to a Pampered Chef party and I bought two of these bamboo, which I like, bamboo utensils. And of course, they're in plastic. Not only did it come in this bag, but it came in a gigantic other plastic bag that was literally half the size of my body. Such a waste, incredible waste. So yes, it does take a little thinking, a little advanced planning. Like I'm not gonna just wait till the last minute and buy something on Amazon. I'm gonna go down to the bookstore and have them get it for me and order it in. It does take a little work, but the dividends and the effort pays off greatly. So like I said earlier in the video, one of the things that makes the biggest difference is this goal of telling people we had three garbage cans total goal for 2016. People can't believe it. It's really kind of fun to see what their reaction is. They will pause and say, what? You mean three a month? No, no, three for the total year. Three, three what? Three cans? Three garbage cans? No, I could never do that. The reactions are really, really fun and it starts a conversation. I actually had the meat counter guy say, hey, more and more people are bringing those in. Well, what are you doing? And I just told him of our goal, and man, that started a conversation that hopefully changed his buying habits a little bit. So those are the things that we've done that have made the biggest difference. Update, we've had two garbage cans collected. It is December 14th, I think and we've got our third one only halfway full. So next year, I think our goal should be two cans for 2017. My name is Samantha. My nickname, some people call me Sam, which please don't do it, I don't really care for it, but I thought of a good name. It could be Two Can Sam. 
Ah, get it? <laughs> Have a great day and uh, please share below what you do to reduce your garbage for the year. Thanks.